start of UFC career has been pretty fantastic so far, right? 2 0, two submissions. Give us an idea kind of what the what the feeling is like having that kind of momentum behind you. Yeah, you know, it feels great. Going in here, I feel a lot more confident because I've had those two UFC fights already and I've already gotten finishes, so I'm just like just going to be another finish. I just know it's going to be another finish. I wonder about that because, I mean, surely anytime you come to the UFC, you, you second guess yourself, right? You wonder, like, do, do I belong here? Am I as good as all these other people? So getting those finishes, what do you think the key has been and, and what do you think the payoff for you is? You know, I think being in the tough house and just watching, like, all the girls that I thought were a lot higher level than me, watching them like train and seeing what they do and what their mindset is, it just made me realize, you know, I'm supposed to be here, you know, I'm I'm way better than most of these girls, you know, I should be in this spot and I should become champion. Nice. You had a couple fights in Vegas and they offered you to come out down here in Australia, I saw you've never been out of the country before, right? So, you know, when they, when they brought this offer to you, did you jump on it? Did you were you concerned? Like, hey, how's that travel gonna affect me? How's it gonna impact me? What was the process like for you? Yeah, I mean, of course, there was a little bit of questioning, like, how's the time change gonna affect me and stuff. But um, it, it really hasn't been too bad, and I, I'm really not too nervous about it. The matchup with Nadia, I mean, she hasn't fought in over a year. Just curious, kind of, what you think about her as an opponent? I mean. Did you study that last tape and or take some from her? Has it been so long that it's not worth it? What, what do you think? Yeah, I mean, I've watched any fights that I saw on YouTube of her. Um, I feel like she's just going to be, be kind of young and reckless in there. I know we're the same age, but I feel a lot more confident and feel like I have more experience than her. So I think it'll be a really good, entertaining fight. Well, last thing for me, I mean, you verbalized it there. You said, listen, I, I deserve to be a champion. You know, I can do that. Give me an idea of what you think this does. I mean, I know this is, you know, the rankings are still weird right now in this division, trying to figure it out, right? But a third win, a third submission, I mean, do you think this is the kind of statement where you could say, listen, I belong up there in that top-level conversation? Yeah, I mean, the most uh, finishes and wins, I think, in the 25 division is three. So I'm going to be right there on the top with everybody. So I feel like I'll, I'll be starting to make my way towards that championship belt. Have you expressed interest in maybe facing Paige Van Zandt? Um, yeah, I think Paige Van Zandt would be a, a great next fight for me. We both beat Rachel. Um, it's a good, like, good for the media, and it just gets you a lot more well-known. <laughs> And more, more about it. Not, is it. Is it really her, or is it like she has the name? And you just need that name to be. So. Yeah, it's yeah, it's more the name. And the UFC putting you on the pay per view. I mean, is that you know them sort of saying, hey, we've got our eyes on you, and we really want to, you know, keep yeah, in the next level. Yeah, seeing that, seeing my name on the pay per view, I'm like, okay, yeah, I definitely should be here. Um, I thought I was just going to be on kind of the prelims, but now I feel really confident and happy that they did move me up. And you've obviously got a chance now to take the lead in the household. Uh, your two and two wins. Uh, but now you get two to go through. What's it going to be like uh, if you get that one up? Yeah, you know, we're just going to keep riding the momentum and both keep fighting, and hopefully he'll get a fight right after me and just keep making our way up the ranks. And uh, Australia, first time, obviously. How are you enjoying it? Have you, have you got a chance to go around have a look at any of the sites? Yeah, the, the weather's beautiful. I haven't really been too much out of the city. We've been kind of walking around the city. There's a lot of people and a lot of good food here, though. <laughs> awesome. oh, um, do you have any predictions for the main event? Uh, for the main event? I'm going to go with Kelvin just because he's trained with our camp before and he's a really good dude. You've seen him you've seen up close in personal training? Yeah. yeah. What, what is, is, uh, what is, from your experience, what makes him so special as a fighter? Kelvin? Um, I think Kelvin's just like that, just really tough, just from his background and stuff. I just think he's just tough. He's going to go out there and outbox him. And what about for the co main event? Versus oh, that one's going to be crazy stylistically. You know, they're both so much alike. Um, but I feel like Israel is going to outclass them.